That man was very naughty, but now he's very dead. So says Queen Meave. Can I afford something I want now? Shit. <laughs> I did it. I did the wrong. No, it's just it's that it's that wood. Okay, these are all purchased. What's these? I'm gonna need like 3,200 wood before I can finish the, the the trees I have. Well, that's 33. So just a hundred more of those. <laughs> Thought it was gonna actually let me go that way for a minute there. What are they doing? There's like heavy machinery siege sounds down there for sure. And so we've largely looped back around. How do I get to that guy? I need it. How do I get to it? Wait. Come on. Come on. I zoom out. How do I get down there? Oh, I need to go like way around then back up. Okay. So the road will eventually come back up. I was trying not to pass it up and forget about it. Oh, hey. Yeah, the puzzle fight here. That's what comes first. Corrupt weapons. That's a poisoned cow they're launching. Oh, it's like the one we heard about. Elves used to say the Doin are imitators. They're only capable of mimicking other races. There's a grain of truth to that, and it's difficult to deny, deny the innovative nature of humans. After all, they can turn anything, absolutely anything, into a weapon. Destroy all rot tossers and cow carcasses. Do not let any cow carcasses explode on your side. Ugh. They're trying to get us with cow bombs. Alright. <laughs> Okay, the cow carcasses are already on their way over here. They've already passed. Cow carcass. Eight. Beast, technically. Uh, whenever this unit takes damage, move to the other side of the battlefield. Death wish. If this unit is on Meave's side, Meave loses the battle. Oh. Are we going to play a hot potato with cow carcasses? This guy has no idea what's about to happen to him. Is that a bird? Is that a griffin? Nay, it's a... Then he dies. He's dead. He died before the quote ended, is what happened. So every time it takes damage, it's gonna change sides, so I need to make sure that it hits zero on the enemy side. Every two turns and turn starts, spawn a cow carcass on the, carcass on the opposite row. What? Let historians debate whether spreading plague as a, in a besieged city is ethical. We just care if it's effective. Yeah, we, we know you guys suck. It's gotta be inconvenient having giant wings on your helmet. It just doesn't seem like a good plan. Uh, so I have to destroy all of them. And I thought that the enemy would attack them, but they're not gonna attack them. They're just gonna spawn new ones every two turns. But I need to kill them faster than that. So these move three cards and damage them by two. So I can move all three of them. So eight, six, four, two, zero. They blow up on my side and I lose. Okay, so I don't want that to happen. So I need alternate damage strategies. The sapper, I guess. Yeah, eight, six, four, two. 
sap them all, and then it doesn't matter if they take damage, because they'll all be dead there first, right? And then death which will happen there. Yeah. The Wagenberg. Damage all units on the enemy row with this... Oh, yeah, right, I need to kill you guys, too. Which, you only have three. So if I kill them fast enough, I don't have to worry about getting attacked more. Maybe that's what I should be focusing on. Hmm. Hmm. If I immediately start with a slinger, then a sapper, I can damage them all by two, then finish them all off. But then I have to figure out how to deal with these three. So they die on the right side. And I'd be two cards deep already, so would I even be able to, like, make this happen correctly? I don't know if I'd be able to deal enough damage before I run out, because they have eight. So when I place... With two of these down already, I can place these two still. There'd be one Wagenberg, another Wagenberg, then these two. They'd be at like four. I might be able to make it work. Let's just test it out and I'll figure out the hard way why it's a bad idea and iterate. There we go. So they've all changed rows accordingly. Now that guy's about to do the bad thing. I did it wrong. That just straight up was not the plan I just described. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Then the sapper. Should I? Maybe. I'm gonna have to, actually. Hmm. Now we'll start the Wagenbergs. And hope that we can do enough to make it worth it. The main thing is that now... I at least don't have to worry about... Yeah, we'll see how this goes. So they keep making them stronger. That's interesting. So that four and three. But they still have both have six, which is a problem. Especially since I don't know what row they're gonna end up on. Well, you may, I make them change to the other row, so if I attack him, he'll go down here. And then I think he switches to the opposite side. So I think he'll end up up here. So if I can do six damage to there, I'm good. Hmm. Yeah, he ends up on this side. Uh, take that, guy. Yeah, that's how it works. They go to the matching opposite row. So I hit them, they change rows, then they go to the opposite matching row. Which means now they're all lined up for six. There we go. Made some correct deductions and was rewarded accordingly, almost like it's a puzzle or something. Some of these puzzles seem best figured out by just kind of learning while doing, because it's hard to interpret exactly what's going to happen some of these times, but then you just kind of get the gears rolling and it, you start to piece together what's happening as a result. Supposed to grind their teeth against our walls. 
Bloody empty promise by our leaders. Commander, onward to Ebbing. Bloody idiot. There a place for me in your ranks, Your Majesty. I'd so like to serve you. I do so with loyalty deserving of my own king. Can I even talk to the other guy? Or is he just gonna hang out here? Hey, speaking from experience as somebody in California during all the fires and everything, uh, don't hang out here. See all that shit floating around? That's going in your lungs. It doesn't come out very well. It kind of likes to shred things up while it's in there. Report. My lady, we found a group of farmers languishing in the barn. Their skin is covered with an oozing sores, some horrid affliction by the look of it. They beg for coin to sate their hunger and thirst, as they have no strength left to work the fields. Aren't you surrounded by fire? Ooh. Isbel can cure them and they can join my ranks. That's an interesting idea. Have Isbel tend to them. Perhaps she can devise a cure so they can may join our ranks. But boing. That's handy. Because, yeah, I don't want to... Like, if they're just going to sit here, we should cure them and bring them with us. Because they're just going to sit here and burn. Everything's burning around here. They won't live here. Oh, it's the unicorn. And also this house has flowers painted on it. Oh, It's probably going to burn soon, too. Unicorn. Just weird, weird detail. <laughs> I wonder, is there a note on that unicorn's body that's going to explain what it did to destroy this bridge? Was there, was there, was a unicorn catapulted with all of the, uh, the cow carcasses, of all things? What's this? Oh, it's a pit of bodies. Oh. How are we gonna fight a corpse? We're gonna fight pestilence as a concept? Like one of the four horsemen? <laughs> Pestilence, rotting, unburied bodies invite not only flesh-hungry beasts, but also pestilence. From monstrous scavengers, one can flee or fight back, yet what defense is there against an invisible enemy? When even air and water pose risk of a slow and painful death. Remove all corpses from the board. Have you considered fire? Is this going to be an entire fight that relies on that one firebombing unit? Oh god, what is this? I'm afraid to look at what the screen actually looks like now. Um... There's only eight per row, so there's one remaining slot per row. Removal corpses from the board. Damage unit by the number of cards in this row, including self. So that they so when I play these guys they can attack for nine. Oh man. I guess the idea is that they'll damage somebody at random for two. So when I put an when I put them all down, they'll slowly clear the field and they'll shoot everybody else whenever I use my ability. Which is a cooldown of three. Yeah. Hmm. So that they're all going to be shooting at random. Is I wonder how much this one's going to actually feel like a puzzle. I don't know. As long as I keep at least six... What? Oh, they damage adjacent units by three. Oh, I should check that. Okay, let's... It probably won't necessarily matter, but let's... Just in case, let's just go ahead and keep that in mind. So I should always attack one that's in the middle of the group, so it can do a damage... Do damage over the group. Alright. Right, I can only play place units on my side. So I guess I might as well target the enemy then. Except not exclusively, because if I if I target the enemy exclusively, uh, I won't be able to clear my own field so I can place units. Adjacent allies by three. That includes my own dudes, too. 
This is gonna be interesting and really odd. That, that collapsed on a scale I wasn't fully anticipating. Okay. Let's put, yeah, let's put you in the way so that you don't kill my remaining units. That, that, that should fix the problem. It's just putting a, a new strong unit between the hazards. Oh shit, he didn't kill him. Oh, I forgot that they're only gonna have five power. Whoops. Yeah, I very much don't want you guys to die. Okay, so now we're at six. Yeah. Yeah, that, that chain's like crazy. Oof. Oof -hoo. They'll be safe now, though. No one else is going to spawn in that row. There we go. No more on that row, at least. Uh, I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm pretty screwed, right? RNG. 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 Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> they only attack the front row. Yeah. This might actually turn out to be a hard puzzle. Because it's weird. Alright. Doing it now won't do anything. I think I want to have at least the two. I'm a Damaging. Put you in the way so it doesn't completely collapse. Let's go ahead and target one of these groups. We have six, so they should die. Whether or not we can F yet. Chain it. Yes. Yes. It's a little hard to keep track of what's happening there, but okay. Okay, now at least the one rows down. So now all of their loyalty effects will go that way. Give me a time. And now we're on our own safe row. Worrying how RNG their attacks are, though. Ah, that's probably bad. Hmm. Is it better to go for a chain reaction up there? I have to shoot this guy because he's alive. They won't shoot him. That's all that matters really is I have to shoot him.
damn it. Oh. I believe I need to be more consistent here with like how I choose my targets each row. Because there's a chain reaction mechanic and I've had mixed success with it, but it always works the same way, so that's my fault. Give me it. I think going to one side helps. It creates like a perimeter. Uh, uh. Shit, he lived. All right. I, th I feel like you can do it, especially since they give me this many units. I feel like you can do it with two units. I did that one last time, right? So let's do this one. There we go. Ow. There we go. It was, it was that one, then that one, right? So let's do that again. There we go. I'm not fully prepared to do like a crazy a precise breakdown of exactly why that works that way, but that's clearly the pattern. Here's the next problem, though, with this strategy, is that now I only have an attack power of three. That's a problem for me. Give me a time. Yeah, this guy's only gonna do three damage, so I should target one of the weaker ones. And hope he gets hit now? He did not get hit. Four damage, so target this guy. Yes. I'm I'm set then. I'm set. Because now I can just do the same pattern on my own. I don't need I don't even need the hero ability. But I can use it as a crutch if something goes wrong. Come on. Yeah, it creates, a, it creates a zigzag effect where it'll keep looping. Like the left one has three and then and the right one has zero. And then the right one has three and the left one has zero. And it keeps... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, it didn't get him. But I have this, so we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> they, they only seem to attack one target each. Like, as if they're trying to be fair or something. But when there's only one target left, I, they, they'll all shoot him. At least that was the takeaway I got from the RNG, is it really seemed that they were shooting different targets on purpose? Like that was the rule somehow? Skull. Why do we take- you know that defeats the purpose of the whole- We were trying to clear the pestilence, you know that, right? We're not trying to like, pick it up and take it with us for funsies. My queen, the the Adernians, uh, retreated with haste, abandoning their tents, supplies, and even some of their equipment. We found something in the commander's quarters. I have no doubt you'll know what to do with it, my lady. So somebody can draw lots to open the chest, but you lose a soldier and lose morale, or Isbel can clear it. Have Isbel clean the chest of spells and curses before opening it. Ooh, I got two new things. Artifact compression. Yeah, so far me losing, me using Ich or Isabel doesn't do make bat. They don't seem to have a chance of failure or me losing them, as far as I can tell. So, I'm hoping that continues to be the case. I think it's. I think those are not a, a gamble. Like I'm. I don't, I don't think I'm risking. I don't think I'm risking Isabel to potentially like lose her and kill her in that moment. I think it's just a reward for having them, like for either uh, doing the right choices to get them in the first place. 
or doing the right choices to keep them long term because they definitely express like how much they like you or don't like you at times and I feel like you might be able to lose them like I left I, 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 got, I did some revenge against the elves and I left that first zone with Rayla smiling and they also made a point to say that uh, Odo was smiling at one point so I was like I think I'm specifically appeasing these characters and someone like Rayla might not be super loyal long term if I don't act right that I don't think he likes being a statue <laughs> artifact compression restraint transform an enemy into a jade figurine and move it to your hand restraint cannot target bosses huh the figurine expanded in a flash pulsing and throbbing changing its shape and structure like a puff of smoke crawling over the floor beams of light revealed movement and hardened materials a moment later in the centrum of the magic circle, a human form suddenly appeared. Transform an enemy into a jade figurine and move it to your hand. It, it doesn't tell me what jade figurine means, so I, I'm only going to find out by, by experimentation. So let's get him into my deck then. Uh, let's remove the decoy and add him. And we'll find out the hard way what a jade figurine actually does, because it's not telling me, unfortunately. The fact that it's not telling me, like, the bear... Because the bear tells me what it's going to turn into. The jade figurine must have variable re reaction. Maybe the jade figurine is just some thing that lets me play the enemy unit or something. Or maybe it just has some uh, element of its power that's based on whatever it was made out of. We're looking for a skull. There you are. Banish any, num any number of units from your graveyard. Then damage all units on a row by the amount banished. Oop. Oh. Huh. Remove from game. Do not trigger death wish abilities. In this case, the death wish is irrelevant because they're, uh, they're already dead. To be or not to be. Wait. What was the question? <laughs> huh. Damage all units on a row by the amount banished. That's potentially very strong. Especially if you're not planning on bringing any of those units back from the graveyard. This is def- it's a- uh, if I'm not planning on using medics or anything like that, this is a very strong round three Gwent card. Like, I need to have a bunch of things in the graveyard. So a round one puzzle game and so on, uh, or a, or a short battle, there's usually not enough stuff in the graveyard to justify that. But if I know I'm getting in, going into a three-round Gwent battle, this would be a good thing to play in the last round. Just melt all the units from my, in my graveyard and damage the enemy, an entire enemy row by a large number. That could be powerful. But uh, most situations are one round or a puzzle, so that's more situational. I probably don't want to have it equipped right now as a general thing. I probably want to, I want to manually switch to it if I have trouble with an encounter later. We're still not there. I keep thinking we're going to be there. It's just because my gold is getting so up there. It's part of it's definitely the fact that this thing is here, where I get gold every fight, and I get recruits every fight, but I don't get wood every fight. That incongruity feels like it's bordering on an odd choice. A few mysteries around. Oh, hey. Waypoint. Thank you. 